hi guys so welcome back to the kotlin tutorial and this is the third video lecture for the room database and in this video lecture we are going to learn how to insert a custom object into the database so what types of object we can store like we, if you want to store the integer float or long string so we can easily store it into the room database because this is the supported types that provided by the, uh, the sqlites but if you want to store the date or if you want to store some array list or if you want to store some custom objects so it is very diff uh, it is not possible to store this information into the sqlite but in the room database with the help of room database there is a type converter is there so with the help of that one we can store this into the database so let's start with this and uh, we can learn how to store this information so we have already created one uh, type converter so we just copy this code and we will understand here so new class so in that one we have just copy this code and uh, here we will un uh, understand okay so here we have to write the type converter and there's a two types here the first is take the as a dead parameter and convert it into the long because long is supported by the sqlite and another is that taking the long value and convert it into the your required parameter okay so now we have the converter that uh, converter we have to use the type converter annotation so this annotation will be read by the uh, room database so here we have to define in our database is a type converter at the rate type converter and here you have to define your class so this is my class here now you don't need two other things just go to your uh, table and create one column for your date the rest of the things will be managed by room so here is the column name is date and uh, the parameter also name is date okay now we have go uh, we have to go to the our main activity and uh, here we have to create the data object okay so let's check activity we have to clean this activity and launch as a fresh okay so terminal is open let's run this one So it will take a few minutes to start and after this date converter we will learn how to insert a multiple converter into the database and how to insert a custom converter okay so once the gradle will be completed we will start the array list so we can see here there is a, a entry is created in the database that is ravi and we have we can see here the different dates is there because the date is supported with the help of type converter so let's go to the another example like how to store a uh, array list so array list we have required one library is json that converted to the list into the string format and um, the from the string we have to convert it into the array list so this library is very useful to convert it this uh, array list into the string and from string to array list so just copy this class name go to the your package new kotlin and create a one class okay and we have to just paste this as it is in your class and it will be convert into your kotlin format okay so after the convert and, uh, conversion we can understand the logic behind this converter okay so we just change the name okay so here we can see here we have write the one converter class is there okay that converter class is used as string parameter and converted that object into the array list and another is another is a uh, taking as a array list and that array list we are converting into the string so we are storing array array list into the string okay so let's go to the your database and here we have to use store this information into the database so for that one we have to define a one variable is a values 
and in that one we have to set the multiple converters so array of and in that array of we have to set one by one each converter so first is array list converter and second we have to store the data dead type converter okay so we have completed the storing this information and uh, now we have to go to the our student table and here we have to create a one array list okay so the column info is list and here we have to define is random list define is here dummy list okay and the type is array list and type is string okay now we have to go to the our main activity and here we can see the list object is already ready here just we have to pass into the student object and now it's done so after this one we have to just ex uh, run our application and we can see in our code that the list object will be available into the our database so before that one first we have to clean our database because the we have to change the schema now we have to uninstall the previous application so the application is already uninstalled here so let's run again so in once the application will be installed it will be print the log and here we can see the date object also and list also so let's execute one more times and we can see here the multiple entries will be present or not okay so So we can see here once the application will be installed again yeah so we can see here there's a two entries there and in the both entry the list will be present so this is the way we can store the custom object into the database so thank you guys please like and subscribe my youtube channel for more videos thank you